hello everyone so today we are going to work on how enemies use the shield to block the attacks so here as you can see this enemy is blocking my attacks with the shield uh, and if I do a heavy attack the blocking or shield is broken as you can see I mean not the shield is literally broken the blocking stance is broken with the heavy attack like this so after that I can continue to do damage so once the shield is broken here oh. let's wait for him to now he's oh. he's not blocking okay now blocking and if I do heavy attack shield is broken I can do damage all right so that's what i am going to work on today and before we get started i'd like to remind you you can download the project files of this project and all other thousands of projects that i have done from the patron page uh, once you become a member you can download anything without a limit to the date there are closer to 2000 videos for each video project file is accessible so feel free to check it out i'll leave the link in description below and this is a part of this action rpg with gameplay ability system tutorial series i am doing you can watch all other episodes also for free in my channel i'll leave the link to the full playlist in the description and let's get back to today's tutorial all right so first of all let me open the AI behavior tree so here i have this lock on target equip flank move to check target light attack and flank again so here i want to do block activate ability for the npc character but before that i did make some changes to the activate ability yesterday when i implement multiple attacks so here we need to refactor few things which is i have named this as max attack count so but that only makes sense for attacks so here i'll call it max activate count which is more suitable in a generic way than when we activate abilities when we activate any ability not just attacks so here uh, this one i activated count okay so this number represents how many times maximum that we can activate and this number represents how many times that we have already activated when we go in this loop in this loop and also this two is private I'll add a new variable so what I want to do is this max and min activate uh, this max activate count so this has to be a integer what should I call it well I'll rename this instead of max target activate count and then I'll use this as max activate count so this makes this is clear and I'll make this one public by default it should be one so here for the light attacks now here we have max activate count so I'll make this three now minimum is always one okay now the next thing well let me first check if everything is still working yeah it is working all right so the next step is making the enemy block so here i'll again type activate ability and i'll rename this block so 
for this it doesn't make sense to have many blocking attempts because just blocking once is enough and the ability tag is ability dot block okay now the enemy should be blocked yeah see oh one more thing so here the enemy takes a bit to respond that's because here we are not aborting anything when this target actor is uh, assigned a value is assigned so here i look for itself so once the target actor value is assigned the character will start responding see it's quick now the character is blocking as you see so that's why i can't harm him see it's not getting harmed so what i want to do is now let's wait for the enemy to attack so even after attacking he goes back to block state so we don't have a chance at all so even after even if i make an attack right after he do the attack still the character is in block state because here yeah, this is how the block ability is working it applies the gameplay effect block and as long as it is there character is considered as in the block state so we can't do any attacks we can't do any harm so we can attack it, we can't just harm him so only when this cancel event is received cancel input is received which i give for the player like this where is the block here when i release the block button i call input cancel but since i use this activate ability blueprint task this cancel input is never called so what i think what we should do is if the enemy do an attack we need to remove the block effect for that here ga this maybe we need to rethink about this later so basically this is what i'm going to do now for now if we do an attack remove gameplay effect from owner with granted tags so when we block we grant the tag weapons dot block so this effect will be removed if the character does an attack so that means if I attack him right after doing an attack oh see now, now he went back to blocking mode see now I can do damage now I can't okay so how to attack the enemy how to break the shield basically how to break blocking that's the next thing so what I'm planning is if I do a heavy attack while in the blocking mode the character should break the blocking without getting harmed but if I do another attack right after that when the shield when the blocking or shield is break broken I should be able to harm the enemy so for that here we have GA hit react sword light and GA hit react sword heavy so this is the gameplay ability that is activated when I do a heavy attack so for now even for a heavy attack character does not do a character response just like he's respond to a light attack which is which is just so some reaction but no damaging happens but what i want to do is here we have this reaction when the character is not blocking so 
what I want to do is I want to have that reaction when the character receive a heavy attack even if character is blocking so apply that and also just like I did here I want to remove the blocking gameplay effect like this and then I want to apply the stun gameplay effect but first time when we break the shield the enemy will not receive any damage it only breaks the blocking but in the next time I should be able to uh, damage it so let's see <coughs> he is blocking now see see if I do a heavy attack wait it's really hard to demonstrate this because we don't have enough time so if I want to re demonstrate that here we can add a wait node so we have enough time to break the shield and do an attack so now the character is blocking here oh. let's wait till he go to blocking mode okay now shield is broken now we can attack he again went to block mode all right let's just wait for him to do another attack parry and finish him off okay so that's all i want to cover in this episode so maybe this part is not required but i'll leave that anyway for now for further testing so thanks for watching as always updated project files will be available for the download in patreon page link would be in the description below and see you in the next episode goodbye